In the previous video, we discussed that Wi-Fi has two bands, two ISM bands, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So let's discuss what is the significance of 2.4 gigahertz. Even if now at the moment I check in my network and I go to the network configuration, Wi-Fi configuration. So here I can see that even I am using 2.4 gigahertz on my Windows 10. So which means that 2.4 gigahertz is the most common band and usually we operate on the first channel as first preference which is channel number one. So what is this 2.4 gigahertz let's discuss. It is one of the two ISM bands which are commonly used for Wi-Fi and it has been divided into total 14 channels and these channels are not like this that one will finish then the next one will start. So until the first channel is finished as soon as we start the first channel the second channel starts 5 megahertz later on and then we give a space of 5 megahertz and then the third channel start then the fourth channel fifth channel so which means that they are all overlapping totally we have 14 channels 1 2 3 4 5 we recognize them with the help of center frequency base frequency so channel 1 to 11 they are usable while 12 13 14 they are prohibited in most of the countries especially channel number 14 because we could even use four channels simultaneously but due to the prohibition of channel 14 it's a problem each channel width is 20 megahertz the standard is 20 or 22 megahertz if we use OFTM modulation then we get we have to give minimum 20 megahertz if we use DSS then we have 22 megahertz but commonly for 2.4 gigahertz we usually use 22 megahertz channel space so which means each channel is 20 or 22 megahertz wide and between two channels two adjacent channels i am talking about channel 1 to 2 so we have 5 megahertz so first channel starts from here goes until here and even the first channel has finished the second frequency will start it will be spreaded along with the channel number one even in here in the table you can see these are all the channel from 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 14 and this is the center frequency so the first channel it starts from 2401 megahertz and it goes up to 2423 which is 20 megahertz you can see in here as well 22 megahertz 01 23 minus 01 is 22 megahertz the second channel starts from 2406 you can see first channel is finishing at 2423 2423 megahertz but the second channel even the first channel has not finished it has already started from 2406 first one is ending at 23 the second is already starting from 6 after 5 megahertz spacing from 1 from 1 to 6 6 to 11 11 to 16 and so on right so this is how the channels have been divided because it was the first band that we started using so at that time the planning was not so much accurate and it was all based on the necessity same like our tcp ip protocol because at that time the cold war was going on between russia usa and they just wanted the computer network to start working so that they can share information and they can win the war similarly here they just wanted Wi-Fi to start working and then we'll see the standards later on. So that's why there are so many different things that you will see as compared to 5 gigahertz band. Although they came around same time with each other. So there is 5 megahertz spacing and except for channel 14 here we have you can see between channel number 13 this central frequency or you can say the ending point. And then the starting point of channel 14 or middle frequency we have a larger space because we did not want to make two three channels and make congestion with next bands that's why we did not put so many bands and even this band is prohibited as well so that's also one of the very important uh, interview point that which channel has more spacing so usually we will say no it's all five megahertz but the answer is incorrect so between channel 13 and 14 we have 12 megahertz space all other channels we have 5 megahertz space right 
it is common to use only three channels to avoid the overlapping so it's very common wherever you will see in your routers in your wi-fi implementation your network designer or solution architect when i am working here we are designing networks for other companies so we always suggest three bands three non overlapping channels not bands channels actually so it's very common to use channel number one channel number six and channel number 11 these blue lines you can see that's why i have made them solid that they are not overlapping even when channel number one finishes there is still a little bit space between them so that it does not overlap with the next one so which means i can run my wi-fi at channel number one and my neighbor or in even in the same house in another room or same room another wi-fi can be run on channel number six and still there will be no problem and another room or in the kitchen we can run another Wi-Fi on channel number 11. So which means on the same room, same house, we can have three different Wi-Fi networks, right? <clears throat> and they can still work. But we cannot work that we will have channel number one and channel number two, both Wi-Fi working in the same home, same area. Then we will have the interference, which is called as adjacent channel interference. Or if I am running on channel number one, if my neighbor is also running on channel number one, then there will also be co-channel interface uh, interference. Sorry. So there are different types of interferences that we will also discuss next in the lectures, right? So there are these types of interferences. There is non-Wi-Fi, and then within Wi-Fi noise sources, we have co-channel interference and adjacent channel interference. But we will discuss later on. Let's finish about 2.4 gigahertz band. Okay, so 2.4, the last important point is that 2.4 gigahertz band is more crowded, right? Because it's the first preference of every Wi-Fi solution architect, every Wi-Fi designer or when you buy a Wi-Fi from the market, just bring to your home and you just turn it on, it starts working. You plug in your fiber from your ISP, internet service provider. So most probably it will give you 2.4 gigahertz and it will operate on channel number one unless you change it right so we can use spectrum analyzer or something if you are designing it for a company for an enterprise so you must design you must go through the heat map first then you must see you must run the spectrum analyzer or any other tool to see which frequencies are there maybe other offices are also running wi-fi so you need to find the free wi-fi channels and then you configure it according to that but these days some access points like from cisco they are very intelligent they can automatically detect the noise and they can switch between the channels automatically ai based artificial intelligence based intelligence based uh, access points so therefore most of the new devices they prefer 5 gigahertz but then it's more more crowded because not only Wi-Fi, but other devices like our cordless phones, Bluetooth devices, NFC communication, which is common in Samsung phones, the garage door openers, baby monitor, anything which operates on, you know, the close proximity, all of them, they work on 2.4 gigahertz because it's easy to implement. It gives you more range and the frequency travels longer, although it gives a little bit less data rate as compared to 5 gigahertz. So this is all about 2.4 gigahertz. If you have any question, I hope it's clear about frequency bands, about channel spacing, about uh, co-channel interference, about central frequency, about the range of each channel and some more important interview points and uh, how many bands we can use uh, separately all of this. So then in next videos, we will discuss about other frequency bands like 5 gigahertz. So now this is question and answers time. Let me ask you a question. Please write your answers in the comment box below. How many non overlapping channels are possible with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band? Again, how many channels can we achieve? Which means in one house, how many Wi-Fi's can I have which can all operate on 2.4 gigahertz without any interference? So please write your answer in the comments. Is it 2, 14, 3 or 12? So if you have any other question, please write in comment section. Thank you for watching.